Hello, my Capricorn friends. How are you doing? Long time no see. I've been asked to start up my weekly or my bi-weekly readings for you guys. And with the extra time on my hands, I said, why not? So here I am. So if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you are a watcher from before, welcome back. Um, so if you are new here, this is how we do it. I usually do a little bit of horoscope first, then we get into the tarot scopes, and we go from there. Um, how I do my tarot scopes are basically, I use my, this week I'm using my Mystic Mondays. This is for the 1st through the 15th of June. Um, I use my Mystic Mondays, and usually we do a general reading, then we do home life, social life, and love life. And then career, financial, show me the money kind of reading. So, and then usually it all comes into one at the end. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there for a minute. But anyway, here is your horoscope for Capricorn. So this month, Mercury and Uranus help you along. This support is coming from a distance. Be mindful of where you decide to go and what you decide to do. There are good aspects to make clear plans and accomplish positive activities. Capricorns, you like to reflect and contemplate on decisions. Well, this time around, you are motivated with good mind and foresight. Be mindful and slow down for the few, first few moments before you act. Think about your actions to clarify your motives and your goals. So really think about what you're gonna do. Which, but it's going to come to you quickly, which is always nice. <laughs> which is always nice. I'm a Libra, so, you know, my decisions procrastinate. <laughs> Just like I procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate. Wow, I can't speak tonight. Okay. Anyway, moving on. So what am I going to do is I'm going to pull from my astrology cards for you. For my Capricorn friends, 1st through the 15th, of what? And I just need one card, thank you very much. Not the whole deck. Um, what the energy is going to be like for the month for you. Well, at least for the 1st through the 15th. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay. There we go. What do we got? Eclipse in Aries. Collaboration. That's been going on a lot. I think what it is is because we've all been stuck inside. We want to go and get out and teamwork. Um, and that's what Eclipse in Aries is all about. Collaborations. Boost relationships through teamwork and compromise. Beautiful card. Not going to lie. I love that. I'm, I was never an orange fan until I got older. I was never a fan of the color orange until I got older. So let's go ahead and get started with the general reading. What is in store for my Capricorn friends for the 1st through the 15th of June 2020? Strength coming out first thing. Love that card. That's one of my favorite cards in the deck oh see oh, okay all right we got some endings going on we got some eight of swords going on what's going on with you capricorns I'm telling you use the strength this is my favorite like i said favorite card in the deck use the strength get this out of this eight of swords when you, Eight of Swords comes up, what that means is, look, in your head, you are bound to these swords, right? You can't move. You're blindfolded, right? And your hands are tied. But if you were to be unblindfolded, you could see, you could walk away from this. But you're not seeing the whole picture. So really look at the whole picture, okay? when it comes to this situation, whatever's going on right now, there's something going on in your life that you got to use that strength. 
three of pentacles and it could be money hardships i mean we're all going through that right but three of pentacles is all about pursuing that money get it going you've balanced and budget budgeted so let's you know let's get going forward right with the death card that's all about um the death card is all about like how do i explain it an ending but an ending that is not like that kind of ending it's not death card is never about i look at the death card when i see it it's like a negative a negative garbage man right so you go through all these changes right You, with the Three of Pentacles, it's, that's telling me, you know, you've gone from the idea phase to the planning stage, right? You know what you want and how to create it. You've laid out the plans. You've gathered your resources. And now let's get ready to work. And that's what the Three of Pentacles symbolizes. The death card is you're looking, you're going to look back at your life, get all that negativity gone, don't let something stop you from your past, okay? He's coming to get all that negativity away from you. He's coming to ensure you that you can move forward. So get, let him come through, get rid of all that negativity, and move forward. Look at that big picture, okay? Let's go ahead and get some gumbl, gumbl, coupling card. Wow, I really can't speak tonight. <laughs> coupling cards and that's what i call them at least love begins trapped in fear see that's why you're holding that's why you're not getting out of the eight of swords you're trapped in fear and that's in your head triumph success whatever this project is that you've been planning and getting ready for it, you're golden and the death card comes accelerated motion so once you get all that negativity gone you allow him to come through and take up that negativity accelerated motion you're golden you're golden my capricorn friends don't be trapped in fear you have nothing to be trapped in fear about okay you're definitely moving going to be moving forward and you're going to have help with teamwork, Eclipse and Aries. And my camera won't focus. Nope, it's just not gonna focus. Sorry guys. I'm sure it'll hopefully it'll come too. Um so let's go ahead and get your home life, social life, love life reading going on. Hopefully that'll focus. Again, I apologize. I don't know what's going on with it. No, it's just not going to do it. What the heck? <laughs> All right. So like I said, this is your home life, social life, love life. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Two of wands. You got a decision to make. You had a decision to make and a decision to, you know, are you going to take this pathway or this pathway? That really didn't help since you couldn't see me. Are you going to take this pathway or this pathway? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is all about mastering that abundance, mastering that plan, mastering that entre entrepreneurship. You're holding back. You're holding back. You got him in reverse. So that's telling me you're holding back. Okay. Oh, that's bugging me. Hold on, guys. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is all about the embodiment of emotion. Okay, you're 
feeling everything. You might be feeling like the weight of the shoulders. You know what I mean? All this weight of everything on your shoulders. But you're, you're good. You're good. She's all about, you know, showing everybody that they're loved, they're nurtured, they're taken care of. It's like a grandma type person. That's what I think of when I think of the Queen of Cups, a grandmother type who wants to embellish everybody, love everybody, you know? And you got the Ace of Wands, which is just all about creativity. So what that's telling me in your home life is something's taken away from your money or financial in the home life situation. So you have a choice to make here, what path you want to go down. Do you want to leave the way of going down this way of losing money or go the other way? And sometimes it's a hard decision. As easy, you know, other people might hear it and say, oh, that's easy, I want to take the money way. But you, there's a lot that you sacrifice. You know what I mean? So I get it. I get it. It's sometimes tough to do. You have hope. It's telling you to choose wisely. It's your destiny. Partnerships and alliance. Again, teamwork comes into play. So what this is basically telling me is you do have a choice to make. Choose wisely. Now, just because the destiny come card comes up, okay, means if you choose wrong, you won't fulfill your destiny. That's not always true. It just won't be at this time. You know what I mean? The choice is yours. The choice is yours. So it's up to you to make that choice. It doesn't mean that you're going to screw your life up if you make the wrong choice. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it really doesn't mean that. But once you make this choice, it looks like you're going to have some partnership and alliances, which is always great. Your hope is going to be answered. I mean, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, my Capricorn friends. Let's go ahead and see about the money situation, financial, job-wise. Tell the universe, show me some money for my Capricorn friends. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles, that's having everything you need to be, that's independence, that's financially independent. Ace of Cups, that's all about, you know, oh my God, your cup full of, filled, wow. Your cup runneth over. That's amazing. That's freaking amazing. King of Cups, again, is the um, mastery of emotions. So you pass that Queen of Cups and master your emotions. There is some holding back with that Four of Cups. Um, but just think of this. You're taking these three cups... And you're manifesting a force. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. So it's kind of like once you get started, this is the feeling I get. Once you get started and plan out, you get rid of this nine of or this eight of swords, and you look at the whole picture. I think everything's going to take off for you. I really do. In whatever aspect you're looking for. Um, and that eight of swords could be that whole, the whole pandemic thing, you know, that's just weighing on all of our minds. What the hell is going to happen? You know, we're starting to open up and everything. So, I mean, there's a lot weighing on everybody's mind, right? And I think that could be a lot of it too. You don't know what the hell is going on and therefore we all feel lost. But once you get right back on that road, I think you're going to be fine. You're not going to have a problem in the world. Um, I mean, you know, we all have personal problems and stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Harmony, memories of love, awareness, spiritual union. Holy crap, my Capricorn friends. 
please take this into consideration. Once you get going, you are going to be golden. Seriously, look at that awareness. I love that card. I absolutely love that card. Awareness. Which tells me you are going to get become intuitive to where you're going to know which way to go. You're going to know everything. You've got harmony. Your life is going to be in harmony. Beautiful, my friends. What is that blue? Why is that? What is that blue? It's got to be a reflection from something. Are you guys seeing that blue, though? I don't... Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm so stupid. That's the blue from the camera. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Infinite abundance. Or infinite abundance. Clear that air. Yep. Clear that air. There's distant thunder. Clear the air. But infinite abundance. Abundance, abundance is pouring into your life. Beautiful, my Capricorn friends. Beautiful. Again. Collaboration. Don't forget about that teamwork. Okay? Don't forget about that teamwork. It's not going to focus, is it? Of course not. Why would it? <laughs> this is my, can my equipment, right? We're talking about... There you go, my Capricorn friends. Again, this has been your horoscope for June 1st through the 15th. Please do take a note, all my live shows. I go live every day, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is, oh, now it straightens out, um, which is uh, 10 a.m. Alaskan time. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I do do free tarot readings on Tuesday. But come quick because the list does fill up. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great couple weeks. And we'll see you back here doing the 16th through the 31st or 30th. I'm not sure how many days are in this month. <laughs> anyway, take care, my Capricorn friends. Love you. Thank you so much. Be safe. Take care and much love.